We made it to Zadar. Here for one night, and then it's off to Havar. Good morning, friends. I'm so excited because we landed in Zadar, Croatia last night, and we're only here for the morning before we head to our actual destination, but Zadar is this tiny city. The airport was literally one terminal. We walked outside the plane to get into the airport. The baggage claim was one carousel, but I'm so excited because I'm traveling through Croatia with two girlfriends and we're here for the morning and then we're going to Havar, which is an island outside of Split. So we have to actually go to Split first and then to Havar and then we're going to Korkula, another island and ending in Dubrovnik, which is that big city where Game of Thrones was filmed. We are definitely in for an adventure and I can't wait to bring you guys along and it's gonna be so much fun, so stay tuned. The girls are still sleeping. I just really wanted to at least get a little glimpse of this city while we're here. I'm just on a little morning walk around the city. I'm gonna go check out a couple of the local sites and then we're gonna have breakfast and hit the road. We have a bus to split. Then we might spend a few hours there or we're gonna get straight on the ferry and head to the island. Nestled on Croatia's stunning Dalmatian coast, Zadar is a city full of history that dates back to Roman times. You can visit medieval churches, wander the cobblestone streets, shop from local boutiques, and soak in the vibrant Mediterranean culture. It is freaking hot and sunny up here, but I'm excited because we're gonna spend most of our time on the islands in the water, but it is steamy and it's only like 9.30 a.m. So I'm a little afraid of how hot it's gonna get. Good morning. Good morning. We made it to Croatia and we're staying at the cutest hotel called Teatro Verdi. And it's such a good little property. Hi, Reagan. Hi. She's removing her sticky boots because it's like 100 degrees out here. And we made it to Split after like a two hour bus ride. Now we're just grabbing a drink before we get to the ferry so we can finally make it to Havar. It's been a long two travel days, so we're really excited just to like lay by the pool, get on a boat tomorrow, relax, and kick back. Just checked into the Beach Bay Havar Hotel and it's super cute but there's three of us and they only had availability for a two-person bedroom so we're like really squeezing in here and we're all gonna be cuddling in this bed tonight but hopefully they can get us into a three-person bed tomorrow we're mostly relaxing tonight me and Reagan are about to go jump in the water and then go get dinner and get some work done because we're both remo remote working here. Tomorrow the adventures begin. We're going to try to book a boat tour and see like more around the island and some of the other islands and all the beautiful water here. But right now we're just getting settled, doing some work, jumping in the water and relaxing. So more adventures to come. The Beach Bay Havar is a perfect hotel. It's an amazing location, literally right on the beach. And it's super chic and like boho, so definitely recommend. You have a lot um, of makeup on your face. Water is really salty, I can't open my eyes all the way, but it's bright blue and cold and it's sunset and we're living our best lives in Europe. <laughs> and I'm standing on a rock. <laughs> and oh. Megan's much taller than me, so she can stand in the water and I'm treading. Fabulous. Anyway, things are going well so far. <laughs> this looks 
That's cute. Night one dinner, chicken and potatoes and a Greek salad. Got our laptops to work. Emily is throwing up sick with food poisoning and so we're bringing her back some Sprite and bread. But for now, this is our view. Pretty good. Okay guys, so update. Emily came down with a bad case of food poisoning yesterday from a burger she ate yesterday. So Reagan and I ended up moving hotels last night. So we didn't get sick and so she could have space to just relax and recover. So we stayed at another hotel and she's still not feeling well this morning and Reagan is sleeping in. So I'm just off for a little solo exploring. There's a little town area with like lots of markets and things. So I'm gonna go over there and do a little souvenir shopping and gift shopping and see what I can find. But hopefully she's feeling better. And later today we're probably gonna go to a beach club. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> then tomorrow is boat day hopefully. So minor mishaps, but things are looking up. And here's my view. There's no filter on this water. It's so, so blue and pretty. Emily's alive and well. And we're on our way to the beach clubs. And we're gonna get some sunshine and ocean and Prosecco and vibes. After the beach club and sunset, we spontaneously decided to hike up to the Havar Fortress, which sits on a hill overlooking the island. Built in the 16th century by the Venetians, this majestic stronghold was designed to protect Havar from invasions and pirates. Perched high above the town, the fortress offers an unbeatable panorama of the Adriatic Sea and nearby islands. As you explore, you'll encounter ancient walls, cannons, and widening stone pathways that transport you back in time. Whether you're a history lover or simply seeking a stunning view, the Havar Fortress is a must visit, showcasing Croatia's rich past and timeless beauty. We're spending the whole day on a boat, on a speedboat, so we're on our way there right now. And we're basically just gonna soak in the sun and see. <laughs> this is our captain Leo looking for seashells. Hi Leo. <laughs> and they are still scared. We'll so see your chin. We're 
stopping for lunch at this beach. So far, it's been the best day ever. We jumped in the most blue water, saw some cute fish and sea urchins. Really worked up our energy, so now we're grabbing a bite to eat and a drink. And it's a beautiful day. Not a bad spot for lunch. Wow. Okay, this is a lemon cello spritz. Let's see how it is. Mm, that's good. What's your favorite spritz? Because you have the Hugo, you have the lemon cello, and you have well, the Aperol. I love an Aperol spritz because it's so cute and pretty. And I do like the flavor. But after that one Hugo spritz yesterday, I was like, I think that one was my favorite. What is that, Rizona? Yeah, cuttlefish risotto. Black cuttlefish risotto. I'm trying black cuttlefish risotto. And the waiter said I would either love it or hate it. I'm a little scared. But he said it was his favorite. Am I going to have black? He said it was a black his mouth? He said it was his favorite dish in the islands. Mm, yeah, but it is good. Oh, it's really hot. It's like, spicy. physically hot. You have to eat their black. <laughs> Perfect. That's nice. There's our ferry. Time for the next stop to Corchula. We made it to Corchula. And we're staying at the Fabrice Luxury Inn, which is basically, looks like we're kind of staying in a little cave. But it's really cute. We have three beds. It's very tight and small. As you can see, my suitcase is on the bed because there's not really anywhere else to put it, but it's really cute and it's perfect for just a couple nights that we're here. Anyway, the town looks very cute and we're gonna go have Reagan's birthday dinner and explore a little bit and just kinda see the town. Apparently it's a Venetian town, so it's like a lot of cobblestone alleyways and things like that. So it looks really pretty based on just our glimpse from the ferry to here, but now it's time to go see some more. Cheers! Oh my god, these potatoes look insane. That guy, uh, extra little innocent men. Ooh. I like the contrast. We're on our way to, what's the name of this beach again? It's funny, I'm <laughs> How do you say this beach again? Poplaska Loka. Poplaska Loka. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Oh wow, okay. We're on our way to Poplaska Loka Beach. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> it's the best beach on the island. So, we're really excited to see the beautiful blue water, more beautiful blue water, and just kick back and relax today. Apparently it's supposed to rain later, so we're trying to make the most of the day while we can. Wow. We stopped to take in this incredible view from the top of the hill. Wow. Oh, so pretty. This 
This doesn't even look real. There are a bunch of storm clouds coming in, but it's so cozy and content. We're just laying down, relaxing for now, waiting these rain clouds out, and our taxi comes in like 30 minutes. And we're off to dinner. It's our last night in Portugal already. Quick photo shoot for dinner. Oh, it looks good. It looks delicious. It has like olives in it. I love olive bread. So I don't want to take that size. Ooh. Fresh focaccia. <laughs> I need so many carbs right now. Yum. Okay, I got truffle gnocchi. I got classic tomato pasta. Reagan got a beef ragu. Mmm. Delicious. And the name of this restaurant is Fundamentum Wine and Gastro. And it's really good. We're in this like cool little alleyway. It's quiet. Good vibes. What flavor did you get? Peppermint chocolate chip. Ooh, I got caramel with sea salt, a classic. I tried the hazelnut, which was really good, but it's a little too sweet for 11.30 p.m. It's our last morning in Portula. <laughs> we're just having a quick coffee, and then we're getting the ferry to Dubrovnik, which is the city where Game of Thrones was filmed, and we're spending the afternoon there. And then we're all going our separate ways tomorrow. Excited to explore. I'm definitely feeling tired and run down, but one more day left in our Croatian adventure. We just checked in to our last hotel in Croatia, and it's actually really spacious and nice. The Brovnik something luxury stays. Anyway, it's like a full Airbnb. We have a whole kitchen. I'll link it in the description, but full kitchen, two bedrooms. And then we have this literal giant balcony. So I'm bummed that we're only here for one night. Like this is all to ourselves. And it was really affordable. We're only here for one night, sadly. So we're gonna go check out the old city, which is the uh, like main area of town. That's where the Game of Thrones and everything was filmed. It's like the most historical part, tons of museums. There's a bus stop right outside of our hotel, so we're taking the bus there. And hot tip that we learned from a tour guide that we met on one of the ferries, to get the Dubrovnik Pass, it's 35 euro, but it includes like five different museums, the city wall, plus transportation on the public buses. So it's like such a steal because the city walls alone are about 35 US dollars. So if you're in Dubrovnik, get the Dubrovnik City Pass. And I think it's just DubrovnikPass.com and it's super easy. So hot tip, stay tuned as we go explore Old Town Dubrovnik. We made it to Old Town and we're gonna walk the city walls, which is all those people all the way up there. We're walking along the city wall. There's a lot of steps, but it's worth the view. 
You can't go to Dubrovnik, Croatia without walking along the old city walls. These iconic walls, standing tall since the 13th century, have protected this gem of the Adriatic for over 700 years. Stretching over a mile, the old city walls offer a breathtaking 360-degree view of the city and sea. Every step takes you deeper into history, past medieval fortresses, towers, and gates. You may even recognize this fortress from Game of Thrones, where the walls doubled as King's Landing. Whether you're a history buff or just seeking stunning views, the old city walls of Dubrovnik are an unforgettable experience. Note to self, wear athletic clothes, put your hair in a ponytail, <laughs> and wear something that you're not going to sweat profusely in for the city walls because it is hot out here. You yes. Emily's doing a wine tasting. Thoughts? <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. The only thing about the say, they want maybe I show the picture. Don't understand. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Got an amazing pink sunset for our last night in Croatia. Wow. Oh my god. Last night in Croatia. Yay, but sad. <laughs> it's been such a good week. <laughs>